Finances. You're failing. Okay. Finances for the trail. Nobody's really talked about this this year. I thought that it would kind of be interesting just if, um, to talk about like what we've saved and things that we've done differently this past year in order to be able to do this. And when I told my students this past week, I had a couple, um, couple of them ask me like how much it costs to through hike. So I guess we'll just jump right into it. So the first thing is saving. When we decided we wanted to do this, which was a year ago, we knew that we would have to buckle down and save as much as possible. So the things that we did differently were eating out less. Um, we made less trips for coffee which I know doesn't sound significant, but... When you do it every single day, it adds up. Um, we hadn't really done that for a while, though. Like, we kind of stopped doing that. That was, that was our thing. Yeah. We went and got coffee a lot. Especially when we were living in our apartment and we were just, like, really cramped for space and wanted to get out. That's what we always did. And we were really close um, to a Starbucks. So now we have been doing that much less. Okay, this past Christmas, we kind of let like our family and friends know that we weren't going to be doing Christmas gifts, and we also did not exchange Christmas gifts either, and that was like a big portion of it because you can, I mean, easily spend so much money doing that. I also didn't do anything crazy for my birthday. Actually, Jade bought me something when we were hammocking, and now we're not hammocking. Yeah, I forgot about that. Her only, her only birthday present. We haven't even opened it yet. It's still in the package. Oh well. I love you. I love you too. Anyway, what else? We paid off our credit cards, or at least tried to as best we could. Um, we tried to get them to zero and keep them at zero for when we leave. So we have no, really no outstanding debt besides like our month to month bills that we ha that everybody has my credit so. card i think has like one payment left this month and that'll be it it'll be at zero it would have been at zero except back in october one of the cats decided to have a uti and seven hundred dollars later my credit card was no longer at zero we also i sell on ebay occasionally so we went around and decluttered our life and sold not a ton of stuff but just extra things we had laying around and that we actually made a pretty good amount of money from that a lot so, so that was cool i worked well <laughs> overtime at work i'm kind of yeah i guess i worked some overtime not too too much though honestly. when it was available though you did yeah i see that look <laughs> Um, wait, okay, um, I'm trying to think about anything else, oh, there were just other little things this year that I didn't do normally, I'd go out and, like, buy fall decorations or Christmas decorations for the front, I didn't do that, and I know a lot of those things sound, like, really small and insignificant, but, you know, $50 here, $75 there, it adds up, so I just skipped it, we didn't do it, so that's, that's like as far as saving savings go like our monthly expenses we just try to keep low i mean we don't we have cable but we don't have like a movie channel package and all that stuff and so that saves money and i'm trying to think of like other things that we went without like we didn't take any trips this past year we didn't go on vacation anywhere so all that money was saved as well as far as budgeting for the trail, I know most people say typically the average is a thousand a month. I don't know how long we'll be out there anywhere from five to five and a half months. It won't be the full six months because I have to go back to work. So we've budgeted, I guess, 12 grand, would you say? Yeah. 12 grand. 12 grand and that's for only on trail expenses. All gear is paid for. Um, Car getting down there is paid for, hotel rooms to get down there, and while we're down there in Georgia, before we start, is paid for, but once we start the trail and start heading north is when our 12 grand starts. Right. 
so the thing that we've talked about is if we can do it for less than 12 grand, I would like to. And um, I think something that we've also talked about doing is maybe having like having all of our money in one checking account and then each month seeing where we're at and maybe moving money over. So we don't look at our account balance and say, ooh, 12 grand, sure, we have plenty of money. And it's really easy to see that number and then just swipe, swipe, oh, this looks cool, swipe, let's go to a hotel, swipe, and just going way over budget. I would like to try and stick to under a thousand per month for each of us if that's possible. We'll see. As far as bills at home, so let's talk about the stuff that we will not have to pay while we're at home. Um, you wanna go through that? I guess we are canceling our cable. We're freezing it. Verizon yeah, we're will, freezing, freezing Verizon the, will let us plan. freeze it. Um, our gym memberships. My gym membership. <laughs> She's canceling her gym membership. I don't have one. Um, our garbage we are canceling. Okay, we're not going to have to pay for gas, which is good. Um, we talked about no credit cards, and we have to keep our car insurance. Thank you, New Jersey. Which, yeah, they so apparently they will suspend our driver's license if you cancel your car insurance with a registered vehicle. So. That's like $1,200 just down the drain. But, um, oh well. I don't know how it is for you guys in other states, but our car insurance is high, and that's just the way it is. Neither one of us have any accidents, knock on wood, on our driving record and no tickets. And it's just high because we live in... Not a free state. Right, yes. Um, so there's nothing that we can do about that. It is what it is. And the I would say like the other really big thing that we won't be spending money on at home will be food. I mean, we'll be spending money on trail for food, obviously. I feel like it might be less though because a lot of what I think I spend the most on with food at home is like fresh food. That's always more expensive than packaged stuff. And on trail, I kind of feel like you're buying more packaged things. So I think it'll be a little bit cheaper, but we'll see. I really don't know yet. Um, I also feel like we're going to save a little bit because there's two of us we can split things like instead of buying a package of something you know getting your three or four days out of it and then putting the rest on a hiker box we can kind of split up that yeah. package and hopefully utilize all of it yeah or most of it yeah and uh yeah something i noticed in vermont is the first time we resupplied we totally overshot how much we needed <laughs> And I'm sure the same thing will happen. And I think you just kind of get into a groove and figure out you're just better at budgeting what you need and what you don't need. Here are the bills that we are still taking care of while we're away. My student loan, I have one student loan. It's very small. Um, it's pretty insignificant. We have rent and we have uh, a car payment. What else? I mean, electric and gas, which really should not be a big deal. Can you think of um, what else? I mean, there's not much else. I mean, our credit cards will be at zero, so that uh -huh. won't have, that won't be coming out at all. That's really it. And then our, uh, our health insurance. Right. Okay. So health insurance, we're paying up front in one lump sum. Um, both of our jobs are letting us pay insurance just um i'm paying mine monthly yeah paying it monthly don't ask why we're still on separate insurance policies it's a long story um he's going on to my insurance policy while we're away actually and i have that all like orchestrated through human resources but for the first two months that we'll be away we are paying separately and we're just paying it uh our like normal share out of our paychecks um, I'm taking my sick days through March, so I'm still getting paid through March, which is really cool. And I had enough sick days to get me through that whole month. And then for a teacher's salary, a lot of districts will let you basically save money uh, by taking money out of your paycheck each each month. 
and the money goes towards getting paid in um, July and August. So I'll get a check in July and a check in August. And it's just money that was deducted from my normal paychecks throughout the year. So that will help a lot too. And that will go towards covering bills in the summer. And I guess that's really, that's really it as far as budgeting for bills at home. And I have like an I have an Excel sheet with all of this divvied up and what's getting canceled and what's um, staying and what's getting paid and all that kind of thing. So it's like really organized. That's the teacher coming out in me. I can't help it. One other thing we also did was we opened up um, separate checking account for. So we have our normal checking account where all of our bills comes out, and then we opened up a completely separate account which we're going to have that debit card with us and transfer money into that account month by month so we're not taking out of the account that our bills come out of if right. that makes any sense so keeping like the hiking budgeting stuff totally separate from our bills at home just so we can see exactly how much we need what we're spending and we're not tapping into money that we shouldn't be tapping into um and then hopefully at the end, uh, whatever's left over from our budget will just get transferred back into our regular checking account and we'll go forward from there. We've also saved enough so that we have some money when we're coming home. Um, I know a lot of people through hiking are younger. They haven't been working full time. And so budgeting is, it's more difficult. You're on a much tighter budget. This is just this is just our situation right now. We totally realize that everybody's financial situation is different. A lot of people have families or they're retired or whatever it may be. Uh, we're just sharing with you what our circumstances are at this point in our lives. And that's, um, that's pretty much it. So we did have a couple of questions in the comments about what we're doing for our house while we're gone. I guess like the last part of this video, I'll just We'll quickly go over that. So we rent our house and Jay's mom is going to be checking on it about once a week. Our neighbors, our like close neighbors know uh, to just kind of keep an eye on things and you know, know whose cars should be here and who shouldn't. When the weather gets warm enough, we are having a friend come over to cut the gas in the basement just to eliminate like any concerns about gas running to a house. What else are we doing? Like, um, we have removed many things from our house that are, I don't know, what do you call Valuable. It? Yeah, valuable stuff. Stuff that can't be, stuff that's, to me, irreplaceable. There's, I have a few things that have been handed down from my father and I've moved them all out of my house, the house. Yeah. There's Any, um, if you're thinking of doing something like this in the future, if you have any jewelry in the house, get rid of it. If you have had any savings bonds in the house, I mean, you really shouldn't keep them in the house anyway. Yeah. If you are a gun owner, um, yeah, that, yeah. that, that was the main thing. One of the main things that I moved out of the house. Other stuff that, uh, we got rid of like electronics and we're getting our lawn mode like what once a week or so yeah it's gonna be like it's starting out it'll probably be like once every two weeks then once a week kind of thing yeah so we actually still have to set that up it's kind of difficult now in the in the winter getting yeah getting lands landscapers to get back to you but we're, um, we're making that work what else and then just i guess having somebody turn your car on once a month stuff like that yeah. and you know just the obvious other stuff if you have like a camera system, that's always a good thing too. Or they we're, call them like those like ring systems now or something like that. Yeah, we're putting our we're putting a couple lights on timers just so it looks like our house is still yeah. lived in. Yeah. Our cars are gonna be in the driveway. Um, I'm gonna have my mom maybe swap them every now and again just so it looks like the house is occupied. Occupied. Yeah. That about covers the things that we've done on the home end and money end to make sure that we're in good shape. And then like little odds and ends, there were like a couple of medical bills that I had to pay, things I had to straighten out with health insurance. 
So I took care of that. You just don't want, I feel like, things hanging over your head when you leave. You just want to go and not have to worry about things at home. Yep. So. Oh, I just thought of something. Um, let your bank know that you're going to be traveling mm. through different states. You don't want to be on trail and have your bank flag your debit card and then freeze it. Because you're not... You won't necessarily be able to get to your bank really easily, especially if you are from, like, I don't know, across the country and you use a bank that's not easily found. Let your bank know. Let your credit card companies know. And if I think of anything else, I will comment below. Or if you think of something that we have forgotten, leave a comment. Say hello. Say hello. Get that thing out of my face.